I'm Corbett Wall with USDA Livestock and Grain Market News here with your weekly feeder and stocker cattle market summary for the week ending June the 29th. We had yearling feeder cattle and big calves over 650 pounds selling four to eight dollars lower with spots as much as twelve dollars lower especially in the upper half of the Midwest and in the Northern Plains. Your calves weighing under 650 pounds selling five to fifteen dollars lower with many instances as much as twenty dollars lower especially in the spots where it's the driest like southern Missouri and especially on a straight five hundred pound calf with that is normally your most popular buy but but really stiff hard losses on those five hundred pounders a little more demand on those little peewee calves of course they can still have a big loss of on a trend there because they bring such a big price but uh, your 500 pound calf took a big hit. Where do we start this week? Uh, it's just been a wreck. Uh, the weather has just been creeping up on us. These dry conditions all over the United States have just been creeping and creeping and it just seemed like it all culminated right there early in the week on Monday and uh, we had that various cattle on feed report last Friday and Monday the board opened and had corn limit up and feeder cattle limit down. Stayed that way all day long and it was no better on Tuesday. We did start to see your your feeder cattle futures come back and regain a lot of those losses by the end of the week and close well back over a dollar fifty on nearby contracts, which is encouraging. Uh, but but corn stayed high for all week and it's just because of this drought we've got and if you look 72 percent of the continental United States is abnormally dry or worse almost three-fourths of the continental United States as compared to just 32 percent a year ago when everybody was going on about the big drought down in Texas and New Mexico and Oklahoma we're that much worse this year and uh, it's just in places all over the map, uh, you know, down in the Ozarks, way out west, uh, your eastern corn belt, and just lots of dry places, selling a lot of cattle, uh, a lot of cows selling, cow-calf pairs are selling, a lot of uh, fall calf and bred cows are being forced to sell, and the market uh, is considerably lower on them than it was back in the winter time when everybody was real bullish. But we're just running out of places to send these cattle that, that's got something for them to eat, so some pasture for them to turn out on. You, you hear of a few guys sending them to a growing yard or shutting them up. It just doesn't work very well. Uh, our hay supplies, our stockpiles are short. This year's cuttings have been short all over the country. and We're just having to sell off a lot of those cows in and, and places that we didn't have to last year and uh, there's not going to be any herd rebuilding this year. We had a lot of reports of, of heifers being kept this year. Uh, a lot of those guys had those heifers and they were ready to put a bull with them. They went ahead and pulled the plug and sold those heifers now too. And, and so our, our crop is going to be, calf crop is going to continue to be smaller. Remember we had the smallest calf crop this past year as we've had in 60 years. So there's not that many cattle around. They're always going to be worth something. but. Uh, market significantly lower and borderline wreck on feeder cattle this week and if you've got you know calves bigger calves or yearlings out there you just figure they're worth about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a head less than they were two weeks ago times that times however many you got and, and it doesn't give you a very good feeling uh, Bowling Green Missouri they had a 700 head consignment that's Eastern Missouri Livestock Commission way out east there right on the Illinois border north of St. Louis they got a 700 head consignment from down closer to, to the Boot Hill just north of the Boot Hill in southeast Missouri been two hour drive south of St. Louis they brought them up to Bowling Green to liquidate them because the hot dry uh, weather was just not working out for them there had a load of 666 pound steers all black might have come from southeast Missouri, but they're good enough to go anywhere. Weighing 666, sold for 151 and a quarter. Had some similar heifers, did have a few uh, crosses on them, a few colored heifers, but 435 heifers selling in load lots, averaged 707 pounds at 138.10. And that is a foot lower 
than it would have been for sure a couple of weeks ago. But uh, corn market kept going higher. Cash corn prices in the Midwest, Midwest, both Kansas City and Omaha cash corn topped $7 a bushel on Friday. Uh, you had your uh, USDA planted acres report come out. Planted acres of corn actually increased about a half a million acres. It's now up to 96.41 million acres that we believe are planted across the country. You know, early this spring they thought, you know, if they planted anything over 90, 92 million acres, we'd have all the corn we'd ever need. And we indeed, indeed planted 96.41 million acres, but uh, corn is soaring. And uh, they did uh, crank down the harvested acres that they expect to harvest from this crop down to 88.9 million acres. Uh, thinking a lot of that could be abandoned and, and a lot more of it cut for silage. But uh, Superior had a video this week, one of the first times you can remember that Superior had a big video and the board did not agree with them and just times really turned tough on them right when they started having one of their big sales. This is a big sale for fall delivery calves and late summer yearlings. The week in the Rockies there at Steamboat offered 230,000 head of cattle and I tell you what, they opened up Monday morning, started to sell and that board opened down the limit and it was tough. Had a, had a rough time going, had some passed out lots, had some uh, lots that were scratched there early in the week, but do have to say that demand improved and they moved from yearlings to calves, but still, it just the overall demand and the feel of the auction improved as they went through the week and more lots selling and selling at good prices. Uh, had some cattle up there that didn't appear to be a whole lot lower, but for fall delivery. Clear Creek Cattle Company out uh, west of Casper, Wyoming, sold a thousand or right up against a thousand head of fancy Charlet steers to weigh 440 pounds at two dollars and twenty-five cents a pound for October. That don't sound too bad. Uh, fat cattle market this week, as of late Friday, just uh, some steady sales in Kansas at 116. Texas and Nebraska act like they want more money before they'll trade and we'll see whether or not they do. We're only selling about 20% of the of the week's kill on a negotiated basis. Monday hit an all-time record high again of 60% of a week's kill is now sold on a formulated basis. Regional weighted averages of feeder cattle this week. Up in the north central states, seven to eight hundred pound steer cost you 153.26 compared to 156.89 last week and 135.81 a year ago. In the south central states, a six to seven hundred pound steer cost you 152.60 compared to 157.79 last week and 137.98 a year ago. Down in the southeast, a five to six hundred pound steer catch this this week 147.04 last week 158.72 and a year ago 133.97 we're not going to have a report next week due to the light receipts over 4th of July we'll be back here in two weeks and to catch up on everything that's happened since everybody have a great 4th of July from the regional market news office in St. Joe Missouri we'll talk to you next week